since we are covering medicinal subjects, here is another thing that I do for medicinal purposes. Q con goro. <laughs> there's another one for the motherland. Yes, 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 there's another one for the motherland. Funny shade on the beat here. For your info, check the intro, check the logo, I'm for the zone. Make a link up with the gringo, another head song, it's a bingo. Enemies, follow me everywhere. Okay, yeah, so um, uh, you're going to have to excuse me. This is my, my bedroom is a little bit messy, right? Um, but what I wanted to do, one of the um, things that I kind of eat on a regular basis is this thing called Kongoro. And... You know, I kind of eat it like every day, yeah? And how it came about was, I was in the gym and I was doing some kind of exercise, I can't remember what it was, but somehow I managed to hyperextend my right leg and it kind of really hurt at the knee. It kind of felt like, if you imagine, just imagine the, the leg being like a, the knee being a ball and have, there is a bone above and a bone below with gristle in between. It felt like the gristle had just been squashed. So the bones were rubbing against the ball, if you know what I mean, right? And I was literally walking around. I was, I was, I was kind of just limping everywhere I went. You know, the, it was just sort of like a horrible pain and I was really kind of worried about it, you know? And um, so I, told, I spoke to a few uh, Tanzanians, right? And uh, uh, from from Jim, and they said, and they said to me, um, Eat kongoro, eat some kongoro, right? So I was like, kongoro, okay, fair enough. And then I just went down and I started eating this kongoro. And when I went to one of the places to get the kongoro, I explained to the guy what happened and why I'm here to get to, to eat this stuff. And the guy also said to me, um, you have to eat this other thing as well. And he said he's going to go around the corner and get a sample. Yeah, and he went around the corner and he came back and it was okra. Yeah, so I also do, I also have okra. And what I do is I cut the okra in half, chuck it in some water and just put it in the fridge overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, you've got this, this sort of jelly water. And it's not too bad because it doesn't taste of anything. It kind of tastes of water, but it's just kind of jelly and it's full of okra goodness. But anyway, so those are the two things that I do. And I can tell you, my, my right leg now is exactly as good as my left leg I'm not saying it was the Kongoro I don't know all right maybe Jaja would have just fixed it in time I don't know I doubt it because I was serious I was limping for a long long time and as soon as I started eating the Kongoro it got better yeah so maybe that's Jaja from a different angle yeah so anyway I'm going to jump on my motorbike and I'm going to skip down there I'm gonna to go to a place called, I think it's called Avani. Avani, but they, these people do one of the better Kongoras because they, they do differ slightly, but we'll go over all that when I get in there and, I, and, I, and I'll speak to you from the actual place, yeah? Anyway, I'm gonna over and out. Yeah, so guys, I, ca I came out of my, um, my yard, it's just over there, right? Um, and obviously I needed to get some help from uh, some guys. They do, they do this, these things, these motorbikes here, yeah? They call them picky pickies, yeah? These motorbikes, they call them picky pickies. So basically, there's about five guys who kind of congregate outside underneath this tree. Do you know what I mean? So I had to get uh, a couple of them to help me do a little bit of filming for me to do a little bit of a drive-by, yeah? Um, but, you know, like I tell you, I t I've always, I've always told you, man. I love the Maasai. I love the Maasai. Do you know what I mean? And um, I've got, I bumped into um, three, three Maasai amongst them. And uh, I just want to, I just want to quickly show you the um, Maasai colours. You see the Mas the Maasai colours. The Maasai colours. They're very, very bright, but it's a, a combination of sort of like red, white, yellow, um, blue. You know. 
But I mean, I've got some, I've got some Maasai jewelry. I've actually bought it from um, a Maasai. I've got it upstairs, but I don't really wear it much because, because it's a light color, and I, I like to kind of color code my stuff, right? So I don't really wear it that much. But over here, we've got um, two, two more Maasai's. Pole, Gina Lakoninani. Alias. Alias. And Baraka. Baraka. Yeah. Now Baraka, Baraka. I was sitting on my motorbike and I saw Baraka doing some kind of jumping business going on. Do you know what I mean? So I thought I got to take out, I got to take out my camera. Baraka, I want to do, a, I want you to do a little jump. Yeah. Could you um? So like I say, Baraka can do some jumping business, right? But I'm not going to let him out jump me. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just look, look, jump, jump, jump. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, young lady's a little bit shy um, so just before we were having a little discussion and she was she was asking me she was asking me about my aunt yeah so I was I was explaining that it was African spirituality it's nothing to do with Ukristo Ukristo means Christianity yeah? hmm? si Ukristo si Islam Mimi Nina Penda Mungu Mungu Chu Si Hitaji U Christo Si Hitaji with Lama Unalewa? Yeah. So I basically just said to her um, I Amy. I have a direct connection Amy. with God. I don't need Where Christianity, I don't need um um Right, so, so guys, my congora is ready and it's just being delivered by this beautiful young lady. And there you have it. Now, what congoro is... Oh, sorry, um, over here we, um, we have to wash our hands before we uh, get stuck into any kind of meal. Asante.
sabuni zaidi sabuni zaidi sabuni means soap zaidi means lots but they always look at you like they're completely confused it's because of my accent it's <laughs> seriously unless you say um um kiswahili exactly as it's supposed to be said nobody understands you so i do understand i, I can say a lot more but anyway so let me just um run you through this so what you get is you get this soup right this soup here one of the reasons why i like the vani's um kongoro is that the soup is a little bit kind of thick and you know it's, um but what the kongoro is basically it's kind of the it's it kind of reminds me of cow foot yeah um but our cow foot is spiced a little bit nicer than this our cow foot's got more flavor this kongoro is um it's a very sort of basic flavor it kind of reminds me of a sort of um vitongo nachumbi which is um onions and kind of salt do i want what drink Kuniwa, um, labda badai, labda badai, yeah. Nina Hitaji ko sema na rafiki ndani u ingresa sasa. Okay, yeah. So what? Uh, eh? I call you, I call you badai. Right. So, um, so what you do, as you can see, it's all gristle, yeah. It's all gristle, um, and. Whereas our cow foot is the foot, this is like a different part of the leg. But you just kind of pick up the gristle, yeah? I usually do this with my spoon, but I'm holding... Um, actually, come here, there we go then. Right, and this is boiling hot, right? So the gristle kind of gets a nice kind of flavor to it. Sorry, I know the lighting's not good here. Um, all the lights behind me, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, what you do is you just scoop up a little bit of um, kongoro, like so, with some soup, and then just chuck it in. Mm. 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 Do you know, I was never a cow cook, man. Too much of that cow and stuff used, used to make me sick. But I think because I started eating kongoro for a reason, and and I started to do it regularly because I, I really needed to fix my knee. I've just really kind of got used to it, and it's 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 such a sort of pleasant thing to do, you know, to eat kongoro like once once a day. You know, I actually want to do this, and I know it's so healthy. It's so healthy. Hmm. Right. One of the racers is down there watching me. Everybody thinks I'm nuts because I'm just speaking into a phone. Um, but one other thing that you can do. Yes. If you look down at the plate, you'll see that they give you a piece of um, pili pili, yeah? What you can do is you can put the pili pili in there. Whatever you do, you don't eat the pili pili. What it does is, because the soup is so hot, there's another piece there. Because the soup is so hot, it just kind of absorbs the pepper. And believe it or not, in no time, this is going to be boiling hot. Pepper hot, I mean, yeah? Let me, let me try it now and I'll tell, I'll tell you if it's got any hotter. Ross, I'm taking some of that out. It's really, really hot now. And what you also do, take um, a piece of lemon, squeeze the lemon in like this. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chuck some, um, some more. I'm going to do it with my hands. I'm going to chuck some more kongoro in the soup. For later. Yeah. Now, 
I was eating this congoda stuff for quite a while before somebody told me this little trick. Because what it is, is that inside these bones, yeah, can you see? Well, this is hard here, but usually inside there, there is a, a, a kind of, it's not like hard marrow, it's like a kind of soft thing, a soft bone marrow thing. And what you do is you tap it on the plate, or you tap it on your hand, and it comes out. It's, it's kind of scary, it looks like something's living inside the bone. But I think that's one of the things that have got a lot of the goodness. So when you look at something like this, yeah, it doesn't really sort of surprise you to think that that is going to be good for your joints and your your leg joints and your elbow joints and your shoulder joints and whatever. That's what they say here, you know. So if you eat the joints of a, I think that this is a probably a cow, some kind of ox or something. It's going to be good for your joints. Pretty straightforward logic there. <laughs> yeah. One congoro, one finished congoro. Let me just um, deal with the soup. It's a bit cold now, so I better leave it alone. But in a nutshell, that is your Tanzania cow. As the cow food. a little more basic, but you know, I I can deal with this. I can't deal with the cow food. So I just can't. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Congoro snippets. Um, there'll be more snippets to come. Okay, love them. There's another one. For the motherland, yes, 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 there's another one. For the motherland, how about the shade on the beat here? For your info, check the intro, check the logo. I'm for the zone, make a link up with the gringo. Another head song, it's a bingo.